Hello, this is Volcarona. I have a battle here against my friend BeaverFX, who is um well just check him out. Anyways, uh this is a battle between them. I'm gonna bring in this new rain team that I just made up right before I started Wi-Fi battling. So he's gonna start off with his balls are inert lantern, and I'm gonna start off with my May tag washing machine. So I thought that this um I also, I thought this thing that um was a uh, I thought this thing was eh, I thought this thing was just a defensive wall so I went for the trick and I found out right there when he had a life orb that I'm gonna probably be in trouble for my Maytag washing machine so he's gonna go for the hidden power grass and that's gonna do a lot to my Maytag washing machine which I'm sad because I've always wanted to see what, what a Maytag washing machine could actually do so I'm gonna set up my hard body my toxic throat knowing that I could take these hidden power grasses all day and since he's choice scarfed he's probably gonna have to switch knowing that that literally only did like 37 damage so anyways he's gonna draw his balls are inert and he's gonna go into that USA because I'm proud to be an American even though that thing is red that thing has yellow in it so I'm gonna go for the substitute on while he was uh, switching because I knew that he's probably going to since he's choice scarfed so he's gonna go for the brave bird and that is not going to kill me because of course I have the sub so right here I thought that I could go for the drain punch knowing that I was under that sub and that is actually going to do a crap load to this wargle and toxic croak man he he was pretty good in this game I, that's why I love these UU Pokemon if he is UU so I'm gonna switch out I don't want to save my hard body for later and go into my wheezy because I thought that I could actually take this because I usually run defensive uh, polytoads but this time I brought in my choice a new choice scarf polytoad that I thought of trying choice scarf with modest but it wouldn't work out and I'm going to have my wheezy killed so, anyways, his war goal is almost dead. I was pretty sad about that. So I'm going to send in my, I got this, thinking that I can take that Brave Bird like a boss, but I actually barely took any Brave Bird whatsoever. This was, like, really crazy. I, I, I didn't think it would do that much, and then I remembered he's probably Choice Banded, not Choice Scarfed. So that probably screwed me over, but I, I got a Sword Stance up anyways. So I'm going to get my attack risen sharply, which um, is good because I could probably hit anything that this thing has with a uh, stabbed, stab technician bullet punch with plus two. So he's going to send out his shades flag on and I'm going to go for that bullet punch. And he lives with 18 HP, he told me. So he lives with 18 HP, which makes me really mad. But he's, what can you do? So he's going to go in for the fire punch and take out my scissor. But knowing that he is choice scarfed, I'm going to set up my Maytag washing machine. And he makes the mistake and thinks that he can actually kill my Maytag washing machine with another fire punch. But he's not going to. But I'm going to miss with the hydro pump. Are you kidding me? So he's going to withdraw his shades. But uh, I was actually predicting that. So I was going to go for a trick right here. And... It's actually going, he's actually going to send in his lantern. So that was pretty much worthless about me in the beginning, giving him that choice scarf. But whatever, what can you do? So I'm going to switch out here, knowing that he's going to go for the hidden power grass, because uh, my friend here is not a very good predictor. So he's going to go for the hidden power grass while I send in my Ludicolo, thinking that this Ludicolo will take it like a boss, and he definitely takes this pretty bossly. So that's what you get for having 58 special attack. So I'm going to go for the Giga Drain, and that is going to kill this thing, no doubt, because that is my Ludicolo, and he actually has an attack set on that thing, which is really, really weird for me, because that thing is usually defensive. Well, anyways, enough of the boring crap. So he's going to send out his Shades, thinking that a ch Choice Scarfed Flygon would be faster, but I'm just going to Giga Drain him. Uh, you know, Swift Swim, I didn't know that it was illegal because, you know, Swift Swim, Ludicolo, and, uh, that freaking Excadrill, Sand Rush, are technically the same thing, so I didn't think that it would be illegal. So he's gonna send out his Gary Oak, and he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch right here. I wasn't really that scared about that Sucker Punch, 
and I went for the Focus Blast, and I didn't know that that Sucker Punch would have done that much. So that was kind of a problem for me. So it wasn't a big problem. It's just that I do that much damage to this Gary Oak, and I don't, I, I can't take a second Sucker Punch. And even if I can, um, I, I'm fearing me missing that uh, Focus Blast. So I'm gonna send on my Rape right here, knowing that he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch a second time. And he can't do anything to this Ferrothorn, which I knew. So I was going to get a Leech Seed, predicting that switch. And he's going to switch into his Black Lungs, which is his Weezing. And this Weezing is just going to get smashed with that Leech Seed. So I know that the only thing that this Weezing can do is pretty much either try and Flamethrower me in the rain... Or he can try to Will-O-Wisp me. And I didn't care about the Will-O-Wisp right here because, you know, the only job he was was to Leech Seed and Stealth Rock right now. Because I can't really do much to his team. So I was going to switch out right here. Switch out into my uh, Toxic Krog knowing I can take that Flamethrower like a boss. Because, you know, come on. Like, really? You think that my Toxic Krog... Well, actually... Sorry, I lied to you right there. I'm going to send out my Maytag washing machine to take that flamethrower like a boss. Because, you know, he's a Maytag washing machine. Why wouldn't he take that like a boss? So, yeah, I'm going to go in for the um, Hydro Pump right here this time. Just to wear down that wheezing. But he's actually going to just fodder his Umbreon. Because I'm actually gaining more HP than he was losing. I mean, then he was. I was getting more HP than him flamethrowing me. That was his only attack move. So I'm gonna go for the pump right here. That pump, and I'm gonna take out Gary Oak. I have no clue what that's Gary Oak. Probably because in the old days he had an EV, and it would evolve considering whatever. So he's gonna send out his cream, and I'm just gonna go for the hydro pump and miss while he goes for the ice beam. I wasn't very. I, I didn't really care about this this ice beam. You know, I mean, come on. Maytag still lived it, you know, toughing out like a boss. So I go for the Hydro Pump again, and I miss again. What the hell? So anyways, he's going to kill my Maytag washing machine, which is pretty sad. You know, I don't, I don't like to have a beat-up washing machine. It won't work anymore. So I'm going to send in my hard body, my Toxic Croak. Which actually has iron bars, which I didn't know until about right here. Because I noticed that I wasn't getting my, uh... I was not getting my dry skin, and I was wondering why. And it turns out that, um, yeah. I had iron barbs. So, Miss Jen right there. Which is probably why I couldn't find random battles. Stupid me. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm in... I'm just gonna go for another, uh... I'm gonna go for the drain punch here, knowing that he can just take out all my subs. But he's going to go in those wheezing, and I don't know why, because he only has flamethrower. And then I was thinking about the, I was thinking the only thing that this guy can do to me is Will-O-Wisp. So, um, I'm going to gain HP, and so right here, I'm going to go for the substitute predicting the Will-O-Wisp this time. But he's actually just going to go for a pain split, because I'm guessing he just wants his health back. But I think that hard body has less HP than the wheezing. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, he, he was saying that his team is just really, really weird. I could see why. I mean, who uses Vanillix? So anyways, I'm going to go for the bulk up here. Because he can't break my sub with a flamethrower. And so he's going to go for the flamethrower again right here. Which I knew he was going to do. Because, you know, I, he can't do anything other than flamethrower me. But I'm, he's not going to break the sub. And I'm just going to go for a second bulk up. Which will just flat out destroy his team. So I'm going to go for a bulk up right here. While he sends out his cream. Because he knows that cream is the only one that can ice beam my subs and kill. So I'm just going to go for a bulk up here. You know, I'm safe behind my sub. And since I know that this thing could just stall out all of my substitutes. I just decided to kill this thing. And just end its life with a... Um, you know, that drain punch. So I'm going to go for a drain punch right here, which is going to kill this crane easy. Because, you know, plus two drain punch 
when it's super effective and stabbed, it's just no chance. It's like it's a swords dance super effective. Those you you usually do not live those. So he's gonna send out his black lungs, and I'm gonna just gonna go for the bulk up one more time right here. Actually, probably even more than that because you know because pro. And he's gonna go for the flamethrower, and that is going to take out my sub because he's already taken he's already taken substitute damage before. So right here, I'm gonna go for the substitute because he probably thought that I, I thought that I'd be able to kill him with a sucker punch, and he would go for the will o wisp. But he's just gonna go for the flamethrower just to keep it safe. And that was pretty good for him, but it's just good game for him right here because I'm able to set up all over this Weezing's face, which is why I have Thunderbolt on my Weezing, not a Toxic. So I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch right here, and I am going to almost take out that Black Lungs. He's just going to go for another Flamethrower. It is not going to take out my Substitute. And yeah, I'm just going to... Um, sucker punch the same one more time knowing that he's just going to go for the flamethrower just to end it. So I go for the sucker punch and that is going to kill this wheezing. And I get a crit which totally mattered. And yeah. So yeah that was the end of Beav. You know. Oh and by the way Squirtle for Ubers that's probably what he's going to tell you guys. So see you guys later.